-hmm. it's like motherfucker bench is a tricep motion you can't do a bench press without a tricep firing it's fucking you. impossible you can't you. push with your chest guys thank you that's how i got triceps so was bench pressing and it that's never so had a chest exactly. for years exactly. so glad you said that mike continue continue go it's like, go it's like, you're, it's you're like, on, i can't i can't <laughs> press with my chest it's fucking impossible there's nothing i can't put a bar here and go i can't move it with my chest and shoulder bump it like in order to fire my chest, I have to fire my tricep on a press. I can't get out of the bottom without pushing my hand out, which is required for me to, I need to push my tricep. So yeah. my elbows stacked underneath my palm and I drive up through my tricep and squeeze up. Some people don't squeeze up or fall back. So they do this and that's why they get massive triceps and they're able to use this fucking, they're able to bench a ton of weight because they pinch on upper back and they create this line of tension across the top of their body and their arms. And they're just strong as fuck here. And you see it all the time, right? But it's like in the guys who roll up through things and press from lower and understand that my pressing power comes from my lats, tucking into my yeah. lat and driving and driving through my tricep. That's my pressing power. You're never going to see an NFL lineman who backs up, who kicks back and goes like this. Yeah. They don't Correct. kick back and punch Correct. like that. Correct. They're here and they punch. Yep. Yep. punch. So yep. it's like my hands are always here. Pop, pop. I'm, I'm moving. Right. It. Yeah. So it's like, that's why it. do you think that that's like, if that's how those, those guys are responsible for fucking pushing around the biggest individuals on the planet and they're not going. Yep. Yeah. They're not flaring their elbows out. Elbows yes. how, the yeah. how strong that's am I when, when I'm people, doing this? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why when, <laughs> shoved around. When, I, when I show people the press and it's like, they're like push from here. It's like, <clears> yeah, this is your most powerful position. <clears throat> Now you just need to, have to learn how to manipulate wherever your elbow placement is, wherever my chest is, wherever my head is. I need to understand the full full retraction and squeezing down. Then I need to press out of there. So it's I think like that it's was most evident. Rising. Yeah, that was most evident. I did was Ben Seath with Animal when you when you were there. Did you ever yeah. Ben? Okay, so Ben yeah. and I were tra training partners. That's who I grew. I grew up training with Ben. Uh, that never became so. That oh, strong as fuck. And yeah. as a kid. Ben yeah, was, I know. <laughs> um, so when Ben cut and prepared for his first bodybuilding show, I was there, mm -hmm. and it was so interesting because I was like, "Dude, you you bench so much." When he cut down, he did not have a chest, but he has these yeah. huge ass triceps, and I was like, "That explains a lot to me." And I was, you know, young, yeah. you know, we were young at that point, but it's really evident when you cut a bodybuilder down, you see how their bodies, like where their musculature is actually at. Yeah. to push those mm -hmm. weights very interesting because he's the only guy i knew that trained straight like a or like a power lifter for his whole career basically had a real small window where he started throwing in some bodybuilding stuff um so that's like and then he cut for a bodybuilding show and it, like his physique looked really good but you could just tell like these are the muscles that you need for power lifting um yeah. so it's pretty interesting to see that but i think you guys with me for a second i go with my dog downstairs oh sure <laughs> sure okay. Oh, having dinner yeah no i understand like i i get that completely and it's like i like i don't know i know juji um because he's part of the same company as me hd muscle and we met a few times we met actually he came up to toronto to train and also was with him at the uh olympia but like he's another guy like the fucking strong man like he's so fucking strong juji and it's like, and then when he cut down for his bodybuilding show, you kind of like, yes, this, his physique is crazy impressive. Like the muscle development, in certain areas. And then you see where some areas where it's lacking. Yeah. Because it hasn't had, it hasn't had that like intense isolation and that intense like work done. Right. Yep. Cause it's been more of an overall, just like massive power. And he's developed, the guy's got a fucking phenomenal body, phenomenal shape, but like, you can just see the difference like because if that guy fucking dedicated himself to bodybuilding 100 yeah, like, percent, interesting so like yeah solely yeah. specialized like no yeah. more no more of this like yeah. crazy stuff and, no like if he like really honed in and like precisely identified like what areas he needs to bring up and like work them like bodybuilding style like high volume lots of blood volume yeah it's like you would be so i like it would be i wouldn't be shocked if he's like a top level dude I, I it's wouldn't just a matter either. of it's just a matter of him wanting to do it, right? Because like the guy's that's so it. fucking talented. The guy's so that's talented, it. he can do whatever the fuck he wants. That's and it's like he makes he makes his money being who he is because everyone loves him. He's a great guy, right? Yeah. And doing right. the crazy shit he does and being as strong as he is, that's a lot more. That sells, man. Financially, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Because bodybuilding yeah. ain't gonna fucking do shit for anybody. That's your top top guy. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. So and I think it worked for him on his path because of you know he's always trying to change oh, yeah, the flavor, show, but it create also, it new show, stuff. But it's crazy yeah, it how successful the, he can be in all those lanes. Yeah, it showed it showed how how easily it is for someone so talented to transfer over to like another sport, right? Yeah. It's like some guy who's crazy good at basketball or some crazy good at football, and next thing you know, he's find out he's fucking even better at basketball, right? Mm-hmm. But if he mm-hmm. if he dedicated himself to basketball, could he be even better than he was in football? It's like we don't know, right? Yeah. But yeah. so it's really like the like the Larry Real scenario. Yeah, <laughs> he's Larry's from one thing to the next. Even, I don't even know what to think about that guy. He's like fucking superhuman. He's that's pretty. <laughs> I impressive. see some of the shit he does. I'm like, what the fuck is that man? That's like, pretty impressive. He's one yeah, of those guys that's, that's like, a superhuman too. That I worry about because I'm like, oh, man, I hope he can keep doing this stuff and he doesn't like because yeah. he does some crazy stuff. 